Liberal Viewer presents. So George Will, who uh, used to be on ABC, the conservative on ABC, and now that he's over on Fox News, he said some things that seem a lot less reasonable than what he used to say over on uh, This Week with George Stephanopoulos on ABC. Or He uh, was asked by Chris Wallace why he thinks the IRS scandal is one of the top three scandals in uh, recent American history and uh, I thought what he said was kind of ridiculous, uh, as I'll discuss a little more after I show that clip here. George, I was struck a couple of days ago on our sister broadcast, a uh, special report, when you said that there have been three great scandals over the last 40 years here in Washington, Watergate, Iran-Contra, and IRS. Uh, a couple of questions. One, why do you think this rises to that level, and why do you think the investigation is stalled? Uh, the investigation to take the last first has stalled because the Justice Department has already leaked its conclusion, which is that no one would be prosecuted. It rises to that level because the Internal Revenue Service is the most intrusive and potentially the most punitive institution of the federal government. <laughs> so, yeah, he goes on to say, give a whole bunch of facts about the IRS scandal that I didn't uh, include in the clip, but I thought that was pretty ridiculous as a... Uh, former criminal defense attorney, for someone to say the IRS is the most invasive and most punitive part of the government or the federal government, uh, I think you have to be like a rich person to look at it that way. And uh, on the subject of the uh, split between rich and poor in the criminal justice system, I want to show one clip. Uh, this is the final clip from HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher. Uh, he had uh, Matt Taibbi on, who has a, a new book out about the split between rich and poor, and I think especially in the criminal justice system. Uh, here's Matt Taibbi talking about how the criminal justice system may, may be a little bit more intrusive and punitive than the IRS, especially for people who aren't rich, responding to Bill Maher talking about how poor people have it especially bad these days in the United States uh, in this clip. You also get into the, the idea that there is some sort of psychological phenomenon going on in this country where we really are sort of loathing the poor and feeling like some people are more worthy of rights than others, it, 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 that, that it's almost a crime just to be poor. Yeah, no, and, I, and this for me is something that reminded me very much of my days. I went to, I actually am old enough to have gone to college in the Soviet Union uh, back, back in 1990. Wow. And I remembered when I was there that, that uh, one of the first things I noticed were th was that there were two sets of laws. You know, there was the written laws that everybody ignored, and then there were the unwritten laws that everybody followed. And there were two classes of people, one who, you know, went to jail for things like having blue jeans or having dollars, and there was the other class, like the directors of our university, who, who wow. were never going to go to jail. And that's what we're, we're entering that stage of our history here in America, where we just know that some people link the heads of these banks they're going to pay fines. They're not going to go to jail for anything. What is stuff. the one that was laundering drug money? To HSBC. 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 And 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 they got nobody went to jail for it. What, what did they do? So they laundered 850 million dollars for a pair of Central and South American drug cartels, including the infamous Sinaloa drug cartel, which is suspected in thousands mm. of murders. It was so brazen that they had teller windows specially fitted for the boxes of cash that drug dealers would be, would be sending through into the wow. banks. Uh, and these guys admitted it. I mean, it wasn't like they were, you know, they denied it in the end. They admitted it and they paid a fine and everybody walked. Not a, sing not, not a single day in jail for any of these people. And then you think about people who are sitting in jail right now in America for smoking joints, for, for slinging dime bags in a corner. I mean, it's just morally unjustifiable. Hmm. Now, I definitely agree with Matt Taibbi there about the uh, difference between rich and poor in our criminal justice system having been a public defender for about five years, but I want to know what you think. Has the U.S. gotten to the point where different rules apply to the rich and to the poor? And going back to the first clip, could only a rich person think the Internal Revenue Service is the most intrusive, punitive part of the government? I, YouTube, you decide.